Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a back to school makeup routine. My face is currently bare, I washed it. If you guys do not know who I am, hi my name is Kirsten and I upload videos whenever I can. Please comment, like, subscribe to see if you are a new subscriber and I will welcome you and I will give you a shout out. Either put your little um, Instagram or something or your Snapchat on the screen to be notified and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button it really really grows this channel and gets it noticed so without further ado let's get started so we have this huge bucket of makeup and this is going to be back to school makeup it's not going to be like it's not going to be very dramatic it's just going to be very low-key and stuff like that so we have all of some of my um, makeup palettes and stuff like that so, first of all, we are going to be using the Pond um, Lotion. I'm going to be showing you guys all the products so I don't have to link them down below. So, I'm just going to be using this lotion just to lotion up my face. And I just finished going on a hike. And I ate half of a watermelon for a snack. So, I took a shower and I washed my face. And you guys could see my after workout how I wash my face or whatever but I did not show in that video that I use ponds this lotion right after I do that and then I would normally put on some chapstick which I'm going to do EOS so this is for people for middle school high school whatever you guys can add whatever kinds of stuff you want but we just have a headband and a messy bun in just for the sake of this video so we don't have any makeup or any breakouts during this video so you guys can put a little um foundation on if i was to put foundation on i would use the matte fit me foundation onto my face because if it's that time of month or something like that or if you have lots of breakouts or something like that you can use it my face is looking pretty nice i barely put on foundation i'm not gonna put it on but i found this at i got this at cvs and i got eos this eos from the dollar store and i got this ponds from you can find it at cvs or whatever but next, we are going to be doing the eyes. So first, we're going to be priming the eyes with our little concealer thing. I got this from Ulta Beauty, and it's just the Revolution London thing. I cannot go wrong with, you cannot go wrong with using um, some concealer. So I'm going to put a little bit of concealer onto my eyes so our makeup does not melt throughout the day. This is going to be super easy and super simple. Instead of the concealer stick, I think this is much better because it has so many different shades in it. And this stuff is so affordable. Like, I got this from for $30. So we just primed our eyes and concealed our eyes with this. We look kind of crazy. And I got this... I got this um, palette yesterday from the dollar store, but it's basically a dupe of the Too Faced Peach palette. If you forgot about that release, that came in like 2016, 17, yeah, it's 2016 or 17, but it's basically the peach palette. It does not smell like peaches, but it has like all of the colors that you would find in it. So we're going to be using, I got this from the dollar store, and we're going to be using Dainty. I'm going to be using Dainty for a bottom um, bottom coat. And I normally apply this on my lid with my finger. This look is not going to be too dramatic. But it's, not, it's going to be like subtle. And very natural. Very, very, very natural. Especially if I want to wear makeup, but at the same time, I don't want to wear makeup. So, we're going to be using, um, we're going to use Enticing, which is this brown color right here. We're going to use Enticing. And we're going to use it with a fluffy brush that I got from 
that I got also from CVS. And it's basically this little tiny LA Colors Pro Shadow Blender brush. And we're going to use enticing on the outs the outskirts of our crease. And it's super pigmented. Like the colors, I could literally put it on once and it's super pigmented, so you can see right there. But we're gonna put it also the other eyelid. So you can go a little bit darker. I'm not going to do it for the sake of this video because a lot of people go to schools that you can barely wear any makeup, but at the same time you want to impress someone or you want to just wear makeup just to feel more confident about yourself, confident about yourself so I would not put any more. So you can go a little bit more deeper into the makeup look if you can wear makeup, but at the same time you just want to look more better. You can use the dark brown shimmery color called brazen right next to enticing this color right here it looks like purple but you just put it right on top of enticing just to give it a nice shimmery bronze look so we're gonna put a one shade of this and i love this pro blender brush from la colors because it's honestly so good it's so good. So this is like the finish from, finish from the finish from the dark colors. We're going to be getting going into the more shimmery colors. So we're going to be using this flat brush that I got from Amazon. It came in a kit of a hundred, no, not a hundred, like fifty plus brushes or so. So I'm going to be using this flat brush, and I'm going to go in with. I'm going to go in with Devoted, this color right here, and I'm going to put it right on the base of our eyes where it really did not get any color. So, I'm going to Devoted, get, we're only going to put it on a little bit. All these colors are so pigmented, so... So we put up a little bit right there. Then we're going to get a little, a smaller, even smaller brush for more detailing. So we're going to be getting Dazzling and put this as a, a base shimmery coat. This color right here. We're going to be putting Dazzling right in the corner of our eyes. And then we're going to be using Flashy from the palette and putting it right in the corner of my eyes on top of that and top of Dazzling to give it a more shimmery look. If you want to take this makeup look to the extreme, you can put a lot of, um, a lot of brazen. Or you could put a lot of dashing. So this is dashing. This is brazen. You could put a lot of either those colors and put drag them underneath her eye. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be doing that. So this is a very, very natural look. Now we are about to just do eyelashes. So we're going to be getting the eyelash. We're going to get the Mega Plush Eyelash. Um... Volume Express from by Maybelline, this retro turquoise blue color um, packaging is in number five, M200, and it is from CVS. We're just going to be using this right on top. This stuff is very, very cheap, but it goes a long way, and it's so good too, so... So I'm going to apply this. I'm 
going to be doing like one coat, especially, because this is for, this is kind of like a, oh, seventh grade, not seventh grade, eighth grade to like sophomore in high school makeup look. It's not definitely not seventh grade because this is very dramatic for seventh grade if you're allowed to use this or something. And then we're going to be using the LA Colors Drama Lash. And if you want to take this to the extreme, then you can, but you can just leave the makeup look as that. We're going to be putting a little bit of this Drama Lash on our lash line. And I also got this from the dollar store. Okay, so we are finished with the eyes, and like I said in the um, early in this video, you can add um, foundation, and you can set this makeup look. I'm not going to set it because I don't want to waste my um, I don't want to waste my setting spray. So we're going to be. This is the setting spray I use. It's just the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. And I got this from Walmart when it was tax-free weekend. Now, a lot of people, it's been getting very, very popular to wear highlight in school. And highlight is very, very, very good makeup. Um, makeup accessory to wear. So I'm going to be putting some highlight. before, but But before that, we are going to be doing our eyebrows. And we're just going to be combing them out because no one wants the messy eyebrows. So we're kind of going to try to comb them up so they could have like the length and then shape them. So they have like that little curve right there. And you can fill them if you want. And you could shape them, like putting concealer, but I don't want to do this because, like I said, I don't, I don't shape them and I don't put concealer around my eyebrows for school because that's kind of overboard. Even though I go to Catholic school, I can wear makeup. There's no rule, I can't wear makeup. But yeah, I just do that. I can fill them in, but I just choose not to. And then now we're going to use highlight. So this is basically, this is the thing. I use the LA Colors Brow Wowie Brow Pencil and a little spoolie on the bottom. And I got this from CVS. Lots of stuff from CVS today. So now we're going to be using the I Believe In Unicorns Academy of Color Highlighting Kit. And we're going to be using Fortune on our cheekbones. And a little bit on our nose. So that's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be applying it with our finger. So a little bit of this is very pigmented. So I had to apply my highlight off camera. But I literally did like on a little L shape. A little L shape and then put a little bit on my nose. But I did not tell you guys where this is from. But it's basically from Kohl's. Now to finish this whole entire look, we just put the little um, EOS balm on our lips just to moisturize them a little bit. Now we're going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Lip Gloss Stick. And we got this from Walmart, so we're going to apply this just off camera. So, yeah. Now our lips are nice and shimmery and nice and glossy. This is the look I'm going to be actually wearing on the first day of school. And my hair is going to be nice and straight and stuff like that. So I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.